the next step is going to be using images and how to deal with compressing the images as we bring them into Flash. So I currently have a Photoshop document set up and it's a picture of Clint Eastwood. A picture of Clint Eastwood with the background removed. Uh, the same picture but scaled down to the size of the Flash stage and the same picture with the background removed scaled down to the picture or to the size of the stage and it hopefully will become clear as I bring this document into Flash and we see how the different pieces of artwork work as to what it does to the finished file size. So switching over to Flash I can then take this document and bring it in, so file, import, and I will choose my Clint picture and bring that document in. Now when I go to bring it in it will give me an option to select my different layers and I can say create a movie clip for these layers. Now currently it's setting it at the default publish setting which is going to be uh, 80 or 90 percent uh, kind of JPEG style compression so it's going to throw out some image information and make it a little bit smaller. So if I were to put all four files in my document and publish it like that compressed it would be 202k which if this were the banner ad would of course be four times my size but if it were not to compress it and if I look at the result there it's almost two and a half mags in size so 2.2400 2400k so that gets to be a pretty substantial amount if we don't do some form of compression so once I've selected that I can bring the layers in we can see the layers are over here and at this point what I am going to do is I'm going to select one of these layers and make sure that my height and width are locked together and I will set the height to 400 and then set the next one and give it a height of 400 so now all of my layers are exactly at the same size which is going to give us some useful comparisons for publishing these images with it. So we're going to clear oh, sorry about that, we're going to clear out the Swift history here and see. So if I do indeed publish this movie with the four images scaled down to fit comes up at 188k. Now it's a little bit smaller than full size because in the full size one it, while the image was bigger, it was extending beyond the confines, so it wasn't really caring about that pixel information. So this is how big it is with all four pictures. And what I can do to make a layer not publish is I can convert that layer to a guide layer. I'm just changing the type of layer that is here. So if we were to look at this and have no pictures, so they're guides, so when it publishes it will come up and there's nothing there. Now when I look at it we'll see that's 538 bytes versus 188k. So if I do the full size image that's been scaled down to fit on the stage, so if that's a normal layer not a guide layer, and test my movie, I will see that at that point we will get a size change because now it's 65k approximately in size. Now if I turn that back to a guide layer and show what happens if I use a scaled down version so I scale it in Photoshop before I import it so I don't make flash scale it down and if I test movie here we'll see it still looks the same really no loss of quality but if I look at it at the difference is 65k versus 28k that's a pretty sizable size difference so the lesson that we're learning there is it's really important to scale your images before you bring them into flash 
So let's convert this one back to a guide layer. If I go to the full size image that's been scaled down in Flash and publish that, see that's now 68k versus 65k. So not a substantial difference, but when you're trying to squeeze every bit of information into it that you can, you put in your audio, you put in your animation, you put in multiple pieces of artwork, you put in vector artwork, all the, everything adds up. And at that point you're going to find that that 3K might mean the difference between success or failure. So it's really important to work with that. So let's turn that one off and turn on the other alpha and we can compare that and once again see what we get. So between these there's really no loss of quality and again we can see then adding an, an alpha channel adds a little bit to it. So my no alpha is 28, with alpha it's almost 30 so adds a couple K. So we're always looking at a couple K difference when you have the alpha and then when you do the scaling, I mean, ev everything makes a difference. So um, if you scale it first, don't need alpha, you get the smallest file size. It's the 27.9. If you scale it first and use alpha, it's 29.7. And then the 65 versus 68. Uh, 65 without the alpha, 68 with the alpha but not scaled down first. So if you don't need alpha, don't use it. But if you do, make sure you absolutely make sure you scale it down before bringing it into Flash.